All right, volunteers, we are back for November's training video. And this month, Freckles and I are gonna show you how we can properly attach a cinch and a girth so that it's comfortable for the horse and safe for the rider. So what I mean by that is we wanna make sure that the cinches and the girths are about even on each side. So we have to use our saddles on multiple horses. Um, so the girth, we do have to change a little bit depending on the horse that we're putting it on. So I threw this saddle on freckles and I'm not sure how it's going to fit. So when I look at it, what you can do first is to just, he's standing a little funny, let me get his feet up here. You can grab the cinch and then you can kind of eyeball it to see, oh, does it come up really high? Like this one is already touching the saddle pad. Or sometimes you can look at the cinch and it's way down underneath the horse's belly. So what we wanna try to get is about even on each side, probably about eight inches or so beneath the saddle. So what you can do if it's too long, like it is today, you can come around to the off side and this little piece of equipment on this side is called the off fillet. And this is just a normal, buck, normal buckle with different holes in it. So you can adjust that depending on the size of the horse, okay? So because it was really long and it was touching the saddle pad on the other side, I'm gonna go up two holes. And when I look at that, it's about eight inches below the saddle. So I think that should be good. So that when you come back around to this side, you can bring the cinch up and take a peek and see where it lays, okay? So you can feel free to adjust that as needed. And then the instructor, it's a little bit quicker when the instructor has to do their safety checks if we don't have to adjust that. On horses, we have to make sure that it's comfortable for them. If the cinch is underneath their tummy or if it's way up too high, it can pull the skin behind their elbow there. It'd be really uncomfortable for them. So that's how we adjust the cinch on a Western saddle. So I'm gonna show you next how we do it on an English saddle. Okay, so now we are back with our English saddle. So one quick tip I wanna give you if you're putting your girth on is a lot of the English girths have this little ring that's in the middle. You can line that up to be right in the middle of the horse's front legs, okay? So that's just a little tip that you can use as you are determining if it's in the correct space, okay? So I'm gonna take this girth and I'm gonna start on the off side just like we always do. I'm gonna have the ring pointed towards the horse's head. And I'm always just gonna start with hole number one. Um, there's no need to go up five holes. Um, just start with the first one and let your girth hang down. Then we're gonna come around to this side and see where that fits us, all right? So first I'm gonna grab it. I can already see that the ring is right behind the horse's front leg, so that's already an indication it might have to go up on the other side a little bit more. And when I look for my billet straps, I'm gonna go up and I can easily get up to hole three or hole, or hole four on this side. That can make it really off kilter. Got a talkative horse in the barn today. That can make it really off kilter for the horse. So instead of just doing it up to hole number four, I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna come back around to this side and I'm gonna go up to hole two, okay? Another option you could be is if you have a girth that you think is a little bit too big, go ahead and go into the jack room and just swap it out. Same thing if you think it's too small. They're all by sizes. This one is a 52. Freckles could probably get away with a size 50. So if you experience that when you're um, getting your horse packed up, feel free to swap it out if you need a different size. All right, so I'm coming back around to this side. The ring looks like it's in a little bit better of a position. And now I can go up to hole number two on this side, which means it's about even, okay? Then when the instructor comes to do their safety check, they're gonna try to make sure that your cinch or your girth is about even on both sides as well, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I know you guys doing this for the instructors back in the barn is gonna really be time saving for us as well as make the horses comfortable and the students safe. Thank you for watching.